Today I'm going to show you three ways to create a vignette to put over video footage. There are a number of different ways you can do this. Um, the first method I'm going to look at is actually create an image, which is uh, essentially an image that looks like a vignette and apply it over the top of the footage. So you can go to Google, first option, you can go to Google and just search for vignette and you'll get various images, some of which will have watermarks over them, some won't, various qualities. So as the quality will vary, let's produce it ourselves in Photoshop because it only takes a second. And um, obviously this does assume you have Photoshop. If you don't, then yeah, go online and look for one or use a different piece of uh, imaging software. So we're going to do new and our footage here is actually only 720p. So we're going to do it, our file the same size as the footage. You could do one that is up to 4K and maybe scale it down when you need to. Uh, but uh, we're just going to do one natively at 720p. So there's our frame. And if we click on our shape tool, and we're going to draw a circle and we're going to set the fill to black. So that's already set to black, so it's fine. And we're going to hold down shift while we do this to make sure it's a circle and do it roughly the size that we would want it. So you can imagine a kind of um, lens image um, coming down over a sensor. <laughs> if that's the kind of thing you imagine, probably not. Uh, and center it with the guidelines or center it roughly. It doesn't have to be too precise. And there we go, we've got um, a nice circular image over what we can imagine to be our video sensor. So if we click on the shape tool again and go here, we can do subtract front shape. And what subtract does is makes the center of the shape transparent and makes everything around the shape black, which is exactly what we need here because it's this bit that's gonna be uh, the vignette uh, and the rest of it is gonna be the image. And then we need to click on the masks tool within properties and we need to feather the edges of this. So for a 720p image, it's not gonna be quite so high. So probably you need to take it up to, um, I don't know, we can leave it, we can leave it quite dark because you can always reduce the opacity uh, in uh, in Premiere itself. So then you kind of, it kind of caters for more situations then because obviously if, the, if you leave the image darker, you have that image to use. And if you need to have a project where you need a darker vignette, then you've got it ready there. So but leave it quite dark and not feather it too much. So maybe just at, just over 100 like that. And if we click off and maybe just close that over, you can see that a little bit more clearly. So there we have what looks like a vignette. And that's basically what it is. Um, so if we save that out, using save for web, and it needs to be PNG 24. Uh, it has to be a PNG image because we need to retain the transparency of the image uh, and PNG 24 because we've got a very smooth gradient here. So we need to have um, all the colors we can if you save it to eight bit. Um, if we set, let's say we set it to um, PNG eight, you're just gonna get these two colors. Um, in fact, I wasn't expecting it to do that. I was expecting it to band. Um, Strange. Anyway, so yeah, PNG24 is the way to go there. And we'll save it to the desktop and we'll just call it vignette 7, 720p. And we can close Photoshop now. And all we need to do with that is in our footage here, which is some footage that was shot last week in uh, Bristol. We've already color corrected this and put, put a sharpen on it, made it look how we want, but it doesn't have any kind of vignette on it. So, um, a lot of distracting stuff in the background around the edges. So let's focus, get sort of uh, the focus a little bit more in on the subject. Double click on our project there and bring in the image file that we just created. So vignette 720p. And I'll put that over the top. Just drag it over the top of the project and drag it over all your footage that you want to apply it to. And you can see immediately that because it's a transparent image, you don't need to change the um, you don't need to go into here and change the blend mode at all. Uh, you can just leave it as normal. And that works fine. So if I turn that on and off here, you can see we've got a nice, quite dark in this case, vignette. And if you want to go into that layer and change the opacity of that, just to take the edge off it a little bit, make it a little bit lighter. And that gives you quite a lot of flexibility. It's a nice way to do it. 
Second method, we'll take that one off for now. The second method is just use a plugin. There's loads of plugins that support this, uh, support the creation of a vignette. And a, a typical example would be Magic Bullet Looks. But, you know, that's uh, quite expensive. It's expensive software, so you wouldn't necessarily want to have it just to be able to create vignettes. Well, I really wouldn't recommend it. But let's go in here anyway and show you how you can do that. So lens in our lens settings, they have a tool that's specifically for creating a vignette, and it allows you loads of options to uh, change it and get it the way you, you, um, you want it to look. And the good thing about this is it's very, very simple to change the shape and the size of it. Uh, and you know, you can, um, uh, can you actually rotate it around on this? I'm not sure you can. Anyway, uh, you can yeah. So you can change change the shape and the size loads, which which kind of moves away from an actual vignette and makes it more like the radial tool in um, in in Lightroom, which is a fantastic tool to really focus in on one part of the image. And that's not what a vignette is. It's a vignette is created naturally by the fall off of light from the edge of the projection of the lens onto the sensor, um, and. Uh, that's sort of so this changes what it's doing slightly but still does a really good job so maybe if we want to focus in specifically on on our subject here and really drop off the um, exposure around the edges you can do that there and so you click finished and we've got a nice as long as he stays still I mean you can shift it around um, with the you, know, you could track it if you wanted to uh, then you've got him nicely sort of in the sunlight here and then this sort of drops off but it looks a bit unnatural for for this particular footage. So that's the uh, second method. The third method is do it all in Premiere. And it's really easy to do in Premiere. What we'll do is click on new item and go to transparent video and create some transparent video that's exactly the same resolution and same fr frame rate. So it basically does that for you. So just click OK and drag that transparent video over the top of your other video, the one you want to, where you want to apply the vignette to. And on that transparent video, we're going to search for the effect circle. Double click on that to put a circle on there. And then in a similar way as we did, so rather than call it subtract, subtract it's called more logically invert here. So invert the circle. And we're going to make the circle black by changing the color of it. So we now have black around the outside and we can just see the center of the image and we need to increase the radius of that circle to get it looking pretty much like we did on Photoshop actually. So maybe something like that. And now we have a feather option here, so expand out the feather option and, and then we can just feather it exactly as we want to, so maybe something like that. And then we turn it on and off, see the difference. Yeah, probably reduce the opacity of it down and yeah so that's that works really well and the big benefit of that is it's fast to render no third party plugins um it's all sort of native to premiere and you can make the adjustment the adjustments are really simple and you can make those adjustments and uh, uh create and you know add it to multiple clips very very simply so that would that's usually the option I go for actually when I'm adding adding anything like that to uh, to footage because it gives me f some level of flexibility to change it afterwards or you know you can make it whatever you want afterwards it doesn't use any third party plugins you're not restricted to the static thing that you've created on an image um, and um, yeah so it gives you it's really really fast as well so um, you've done it so we've got yeah, a good looking uh, vignette there. So three methods to put a vignette over video footage.